And then you get this Alice, Alice, and that's true. So that's pretty nice if we can have this. And this should be in this Firestore debug log thing. So we use the emulator, so it doesn't make sense why it shouldn't work like that. Um, let's try that. Let's zoom. Fake ID. So, oh. I cannot format this. We probably should install a plugin for that. It's probably a plugin to format this file as well. It's a bit broken. Formatting wise. So request our view ID. We should see that and we should see this fake ID. We save it. So maybe I will just restart the emulator and see if it does anything. If this doesn't work. So I create another one, permission denied. So it is doing something with the rules because this UID is not the same as this fake ID. So it doesn't exist. So that's great, refresh the folder. Yeah, if you don't know what's going on, just reboot. So I'll just close this. Maybe if I close it, it will sort of create this log or something. Sometimes that happens. That would not be great, because then I would have to close it every time. Uh, logging emulator. What's that? A logging emulator. So it could be that these logs will be in this logging emulator, potentially. Something to maybe check out. What's that? Firebase. Oh. Logging emulator. Yeah, it's something else, I think. Not sure. I think it's worth, I think it's closed already, so it doesn't, didn't do anything. If I run the emulators. So what emulators do we run? We run all functions and Firestore and PubSub. The rest we don't run. So it will download the data, the development data. Okay, so let's see in the logs, maybe there should be something here. Maybe it will show up here in these logs. That will make sense actually, instead of these files, but what I did saw, we, huh? It's there now. Maybe we shouldn't have deleted them. The files are here now, Firestore lock. And it's uh, flying, you see? Flying. The locks are flying as a madness. Every two seconds we'll get like this detected connection. That's pretty interesting. Should we press the button? I think we should. Shouldn't work. No, permission denied. And we have it. We have the logs. A string value, fake ID, and a string value. <laughs> yeah, definitely the theme of this week. Madna, mad curves. <laughs> So we can uh, sort of debug the security rules now and we sort of spent like a whole timer on it but I think it will be worth it because we also have to do a lot with these security rules and it's just nice that you can sort of debug them. So you shouldn't delete the files, that's one lesson we learned. And um, because if you delete the files it will not create them again. You can fix it by restarting it and then the files will show up again. And then you can use these debug things in... Um so can I do request here? Because I'm pr pretty interested in what is in there. So I'll just debug the request. It will not uh, do anything hopefully, security wise. It will not just give a permission denied. It shouldn't be the same. What do we get? Whoa, 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 see this data? This is what I wanted to see. Off token, an AUD. 
that's sort of the project ID. Maybe there's some security things here, but probably not. The email of the user. So this is the token of the user in the auth, auth token. And this is the email. So let's say we want to do a security rule based on email. You can do it. You can just get off uh, token and then uh, email. So it's pretty nice. You can sort of see this whole object. Now we have Firebase identities, email. You can sort of get the provider. You can say, oh, I only want to allow people from this provider to have access to this. So you can go mad, mad with this. <laughs> I, I'm pretty happy that I can see this here. It is really is helpful to see what's going on. Um, and we should be able to see uh, the resource. Yeah, so we have this request that we print and in the request there is this resource field. I think that's how you should read it. Um, yeah, it's on top level, right? Yeah. So it's map value and then you have fields, one key, and then you have another field that's the next key. Uh, so you have also this auto ID is false, headers, method, path, read, and then we have the resource. And that's the one we want to uh, check out. And the resource is sort of the the data you add. That's how to think of it. We have a name. Data. So we're now in request resource data. And in the data is the author ID. And that's this. So what we want to check is this author ID is the same as um, the UID. Where is it? There should be a UID here, actually. So, user ID. Yeah, UID. So, this is the same. Um, so, this is this of UID. So, what we want to check if this is the same to this. So, in this case, it is. So, it should return true. But, yeah, this is really helpful to check out what to, to do and what goes wrong. I'm really happy with this debug thing and that we sort of went through the process. So, we now know where it is. It's in resource, data, and then all variety. And this should work. This should return true. Let's test it. Ta -da, doo -doo. Uh, great, great, great. And we should check the logs. We should see something like uh, ID is ID is true. Nice. I'm actually saving this as a clip for YouTube. 